Hello, grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lecture. Today we have lesson two of the unit, combining like terms. Um, the math in and of itself, like the adding is not gonna be very difficult. A little bit of a new concept. Let's get into it. First question we have is 18n plus 14n. And you may be looking at that going, Mr. DeCazel, you just said that, that was a binomial. And that's kind of true in its current form. It is a binomial. It's two terms. But since they're both n, right, they're both the same, we can combine them. In all our other problems in the previous lesson, they were different values for the exponent. We had x to the power of 2 and x. Those are different. But since this is 18 n's and 14 n's, we can go ahead and combine these two and add them up. If we had 18 n's and, and 14 n's and we put them together, we would get 32 n's. And that can be, oh my goodness, I wrote 3 n. It should be 32 n. Then that would be our final answer right there. Uh, if you have two things that are added together and they're uh, variables with their exponents are the same you can just go ahead and add those numbers together to represent that number of n's um, let's go to the right and do m plus 8 plus 11 m plus 16 so in this case we have something very similar but almost kind of doubled um, we have two terms that are the letter M, and we have two terms that are constants. We could say that these are in the first degree, and these are in the zeroth degree. And everything that's within the same degree, we can add together. Everything in the first degree we add together, everything in the zeroth de degree we add together, everything with the same uh, exponent in their variable gets added together. So we would add M and 11M. If you add 1m to 11m's, you get 12m's. And then you add 8 and 16, well, that's just 24. So it allows us to simplify this polynomial with four terms into a binomial. And we can then see that this is a linear binomial, not a linear uh, polynomial with four terms. So we are simplifying or combining any like terms. Let's go to the next one. We have 5x minus 19x. If you had 5x's and you took away 19x's, you would end up with negative 14x's. Such is life. Down a bunch of x's. All right, let's go to the next one. 4 plus 17n minus 10n. Nothing matches our 4. There's nothing else to the 0 degree. Uh, so that's fine. I'm going to generally want to write them in standard form. So that's going to go... Uh, last though. So I've got 4 at the back. Now I've got 17 n's and I take away 10 n's. That would be 7 n's left. Ends up being a linear binomial, not a linear trinomial. So anything with the same degree we add together. Let's go to, I think we have a couple with a little bit more to it. Uh, yes, 11 and 12 have a little more to it when we get there. So we have 9r minus 10 plus 6 plus r. So this one and this one are together. And then we have this one and this one together. You can do something like this where you circle or box them or like I did in the first one where I underlined uh, the specific ones that were together uh, in different colors. You can do whatever works for you. Uh, 9r plus r, that's 10r. And then minus 10 plus 6, that gets us up to minus 4, but it does not cross the number line. 10r minus 4 is our final answer. Let's go to number 10. 1 plus 8n plus 1 plus 10n. So our variables with the single degree, first degree, can go together, and the zeroth degree go together. That's 18n plus 2. All right, now we get to 6x plus 6 bracket minus 10 minus 10x. 
uh, a refresher here when you have something that is multiplied by two different terms in a bracket. These are again, these can't get, be combined because this is zeroth degree and this is first degree. We need to get rid of these brackets though. So we are going to multiply the six by both things in here. It applies to both of those values. And that gets rid of the brackets for us. So we can have six X just stays. Six times minus 10, that's minus 60, okay. And then six times minus 10 X is minus 60 X. Okay, I'm going to leave this minus 60 by itself because it is the only zeroth degree term. I can combine these though. I would get minus 54x minus 60. You can also go ahead and flip all the signs. If it's all negative, you can flip it all to positive if you like. You don't have to. That'd be 54x plus 60 as well. Both of these would be acceptable answers. Um, if they're both negative, you can flip them all to positive. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Minus 5 times v plus 4 minus 2. In this case, we're going to want to get rid of the brackets by doing the, uh, what do we call The distributive property is what it's truly called. We get more into it uh, as we go here. But you're going to multiply this minus 5 by both of these going to get you minus 5v plus minus 5 times times 4 that's minus 20 and then minus 2 uh, we can write this then as minus 5v minus 20 minus 2 that's minus 22 or if we want it all in positive terms 5v plus 20, 20 plus 22 is all right as well if you guys have questions, if you're not sure how to distribute a number throughout the brackets, please let me know. But thank you very much for watching, everyone. I will see you soon.